Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a review of this product because if you saw my January favourites, it nearly said December, um, I said that I thought I'd do a review on this because I did have quite a lot to say. I think I've forgotten what I was going to say because I feel like I can't think of anything that I was going to say. I thought I'd film it now because the lighting is very good because it's so sunny outside. So I'm just going to get right on in. So what I'm going to talk about is this and it is the Hugo Boss Orange for Men Clone Fragrance, whatever you want to call it. First thing I'm going to do is I've got my iPad here and I'm going to read out the fragrance notes because that's what these sort of people who do these sort of reviews kind of do. So top notes are crispy apple, coriander seed and cardamom. This the bottle I have got is the 60, yep, 60 ml bottle, and I bought this after Christmas, and it was literally on Boxing Day, on in the Boxing Day sales from the fragrance shop, and I brought it in a set. If you see my Boxing Day haul, I explain that there, and I came with a shower gel which is 50 ml, and the aftershave balm which is also 50 ml, and I believe, if I remember correctly. It was around the 26 to 28 pound mark. Now, the normal bottle of this is 40 mils, and that is that price. So I got 20 mil extra plus these two things. I'm going to use them, but they'll just be there. I'm going to butcher these names so bad. So, and then it's heart note. I'm not an expert on fragrances or anything because I have no idea what a heart note is. I know what a top note is. I suppose that's the thing that comes through the most. But heart note is frankincense. Um, Shazen pepper. And that looks like myrrh. No. Myrrh? Don't know what that is. Um, and then base notes are vanilla bean, babinga wood, and patch ulu or something like that. This fragrance, I would say, you can smell like, I think you can smell like the crispy apple in it. And it does smell like citrusy, sort of, but not like woman's citrusy. It's like a man's citrus smell. If you smell a spelt, if you have smelt the um, women's version of it, of this fragrance, which is just Hugo Boss Orange for Women or Boss Orange for Women or whatever it's called, it does. This doesn't smell exactly the same. It's got like I don't know if it's got the same notes or whatever, but it's got um, like it has a similar feel about it and I actually like the women's smell because my mum wears it, it's like her favourite one and I like that smell and to be honest I was a little bit disappointed for this because I, when this originally came out I wanted, I was gonna, I really wanted it it came out what, three, two, three years ago I can't remember his name, he did the advert but um, I really wanted it because that's going to smell like the women, well not like the women's, but it's going to be like of the women's variety, sort of like that. And I was really excited, but then I did smell it in boots like one day and I was a little bit disappointed with it. Because I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting, but it doesn't smell like it was, like I was expecting it was going to smell. I was expecting it to smell a bit more orangey because the women's one does smell orangey, sort of. But... It's, I do like it. Well, I more than like it. I bought it. I'm not, I don't like buy fragrances on a whim, but I do kind of regret buying this, sort of. And I kind of, I should have bought. I know, I do love it, and I am going to wear it, and I'm going to use it, and it is good. I love it. But I'm just going to say, if I had my time again, I would by the Hugo Boss Bottled because I've worn that. My dad used to have it and he used it all up. But I prefer that smell to this because I am disappointed that it doesn't smell like it. Though I bought it, I am going to wear it. I do like it, but I just don't like it as much as the Hugo Boss Orange, not Orange, Hugo Boss Bottled. 
I do love it. I still love it. Don't get me wrong, I didn't just buy it and not like it. I do like it. And I did smell it before I bought it, but I want the Hugo Boss bottled. But I do like the bottle and everything. It looks it's like it's like double the width of the women's one because the women's one's just like that width, I think. And yeah, it kind of looks like the women's one with the silver down the side. And I like the fact that there's no branding on the bottle, like there. It's just on the side with like Hugo Boss there and like Boss Orange logo. But I don't know, it kind of looks like a chocolate bar. This actually lasts a long time. I sprayed it on in the morning. I sprayed it on this, like on Monday, and you could still smell it on my clothes on Wednesday. That's how long it lasts. So it lasts a, a long. It lasts a long time for an eau de toilette or toilet, whatever you want to, however you pronounce that. So yeah, it does last a long time, a really long time, and it is actually quite strong. And like, you only need like one, two squirts, and you are good to go. Thank you for watching that video, guys. Hope you guys are really well and yeah. Um, don't know really what else to say. I'm ending the video now, but it's not going very well, is it? So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.